and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another early morning video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at the crypto news today. We're going to have a look at the SEC in particular and their uh, uh, coming after crypto is is you know what's being said in the headlines. We're going to dig into that. Should we be worried? Should we be concerned? all of that side of things. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up that like button. It really does support the channel. It helps push out the content to like-minded individuals. And we really do appreciate it. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 likes for this video. would be much appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And, uh, you know, that's really important because, you know, the bear market is where generational level wealth is made. So you're going to want to be kept up to date with all the regulatory changes within the space, the technical analysis and the general news and uh, everything that's happening in crypto. We have some fantastic connections with a lot of projects and we regularly meet and chat with a lot of the uh, insiders within the space. So make sure that you subscribe, tap in that bell you know, so you get all of those notifications, really important. So let's get down to the desktop and let's sort of get into everything. Okay, so we're going to start on coin market cap. And uh, this is like, in my opinion, the best place to start every video because, you know, it's really important to look at the, the total market cap of crypto, which stands at $1.24 trillion, down 3.59%. And it does kind of feel like crypto is in a bit of a range at the moment, particularly, you know, well, in particular, all of the, the, the altcoins and Bitcoin. It's sort of hovering between twenty nine and thirty one thousand dollars for Bitcoin and altcoins, you know, range in very similar uh, to, to that in, in very similar ranges. So ultimately, it's really interesting. We have seen Cardano, Leapfrog, Solana, which are having issues and XRP most recently. So, you know, really interested to see how Cardano uh, gets on. And um, yeah, it's just interests me. So do let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the market in general uh, in the comments below. Really interested to know. So let's start here with the SEC goes after crypto investing with game show inspired spots. And, uh, you know, the SEC, I really don't think they appreciate how much pain they've actually caused investors in crypto already. Um, maybe they should just give the clarity um, the way they're handling this, in my opinion, is just terrible. But the US Securities and Exchange Commission is warning investors away from casual crypto speculation by using mock videos and uh, an interesting way to, to go about things rather than, you know, spending time to give people clarity. Let's put some commercials telling everybody that it's risky. Um, just my opinion. I'm, I'm really, really interested to get your views and opinions uh, below in the comments. So cryptocurrency speculation is lumped in with other high risk uh, ventures in a series of new US securities and exchange commission, the SEC videos meant to educate potential investors by comparing some investment choices with a game show. Uh, investing is not a game, they say in the uh, voiceover of each of the public service spots released by the uh, SEC on Wednesday. Uh, the videos caution viewers to do research before making choices with their money. And, you know, that last strap line there, you know, go do your own research before making any investment decisions is something that we echo an, an awful lot on this channel. You know, there is no substitute for doing your own research. You know, there's lots of people that are paid to shill, you know, all sorts of shit. And, um, you, you know, you wouldn't know this unless you did your own research, right? So you've got to go do that. Trust trust nobody in this space. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. However, the SEC, you know, they could give clarity. We could have regulations. You know, we could have a, a sandbox scenario of, of some sort. But instead, they look to to go through, um, you know, using like enforcement action. You know, the SEC Ripple case is a prime example of, you know, how poorly the SEC are, are, are running things, right? In my opinion, this is just purely my opinion. And I, I speculate that, you know, they're corrupt in many ways. And, you know, lots of government um, sectors, uh, around the world are corrupt right and uh they could have given clarity they could have handled this you know with the uh sec and, and ripple case in, in in a better way that would have hurt less people but instead they've used uh you know enforcement action 
and caused retail investors an awful lot of losses. You know, some people had their life savings in some of the, uh, like in XRP, for example, right? And, you know, we always say don't put all your eggs in one basket and I'm not condoning what people have done in order to, to be in this terrible situation. However, the SEC, they will know that, you know, there's a lot of people that have been hurt and this has been dragged on and it doesn't look like they're, they're going to win, win, in my opinion. And she looks like the most likely scenario is a settlement. If Ripple are willing to even settle at this point, you know, yeah, for for me, an outsider looking in, it, it's been done terribly. So I guess the question is, should we be worried? Should we be concerned? I think there's bigger things to be concerned about at the moment, you know, generally with the macro landscape, you know, financially across many different sectors, the war between uh, the Ukraine and, and Russia, I think is a, a, another reason to, to be concerned. The impact on, you know, fuel, food, inflation, uh, all this stuff that, that is happening, right? Uh, I, I expect um, bonds to, to, to be sold off at some point and that's going to pull out lots of capital um and again just make things shrink and you know ultimately it depends on how they go about this but it's not looking really good it does look like we're going to go into a recession i you know i guess speculate that that happened next year not this year but we are starting to see a lot of retail investors having less surplus cash to to invest and you know that is being seen in many different markets and not just cryptocurrency so i think there's a lot to be worried about outside of this i think you know we should be concerned uh, around you know what this signals from from the sec in the respect of trying to educate people they could give clarity and and that's what i would argue and uh, with that clarity you know comes more more understanding of what we should be investing in and what we shouldn't be investing in which would be a much better way to educate the the masses as well as some of the projects that are actually you know in within the rules and not in within the rules i think you know all this speculation is um not doing anyone any good and i think you know the fact that clarity is basically what we want um is really important right uh for for the space to, to to flourish and we are seeing some movement on regulations but it does kind of feel like uh, there's potential and you know i i speculate there's a lot of corruption going on um, but do let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments below um the other thing to to talk about right and i i, I we, we had the we had the increase in price for for bitcoin a few a few days back right and uh we were calling it a fake pump uh i guess a a bull trap and and, and all of these uh sort of uh terminologies we we used right uh but one thing that i pointed out was the the type of headlines that were out and uh clear for for people to see right i do feel that with a lot of these media outlets there there is a, a wider agenda in order to push the market in a certain way so they were all really positive when we were having that you know fake uh pump up as as we articulated it now if we have a look you know we've had a bit of a pullback yesterday that nick and myself have been anticipating uh, uh you know now now it's all turned fairly negative like major crypto firms reportedly cutting up to 10 percent of their staff amid bear market so you're seeing all all the negative headlines now. The market's just retraced three percent. Um, so you know it's just interesting. I think we you know need to be aware of this stuff and you know not succumb to to a lot of the doubt that it it creates. You know, Terra uh, USD collapse will probably be the end of most algorithmic stable coins. Crypto expert says. You know, for for me, these are headlines that are inspired to to just generate a bit of negativity in the space, a bit of fear, and uh, probably not the best example that one because you know I agree with it. But with that said, it's it's definitely not good news in the the outlets at the moment for for the news articles. So again, it's in line with where we kind of expect the market to go. It's in line with the macro landscape. Um, you know, in many different sectors. So, you know, just be aware of everything that's going on. Uh, try not to get caught up in all the, the FUD and, and that side of things. Um, but also question, 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 question if something sounds too good to be true. Don't forget to jump in our Discord. Link is in the description 
love to have you there have some more meaningful conversations with us check out our uh, patreon again link is in the description uh, we do two weekly amas where you can ask us anything we do write-ups most days there's a new write-up on uh, on a new project every day pretty much and uh, we have a fantastic team and a fantastic community so why not join uh, and have some fun with us there so um if you enjoyed today's video and you found it useful educational all that sort of wonderful stuff mash up that like button really do appreciate it. it does help the channel and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already making sure that you tap that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i'll catch you in the next one take care